Hey guys, and welcome to our channel, Mystery Recaps. Today, we will go over a 2017 sci-fi drama movie named Geohazard. The movie starts with an advertisement for a drug called Beautiful Girl Pill. According to the ad, the pill is a unique drug that will restructure women's brains, nerves, and genes, turning them into their most beautiful versions. The pill gets sold out everywhere in the first year because of its popularity and effectiveness. Any woman who takes the pill experiences a change in their body and facial structure immediately. For the first year, the pill basks in its success. However, in less than two years of use, women begin to feel the pill's side effects. Some get severe allergic reactions, while others instantly go brain dead. Later, an examination reveals that the pill has directly affected most women's brains, shrinking their frontal lobe size. As a result, they start having difficulties doing the easiest tasks. They also lose their ability to experience both pain and pleasure. The pill has much more detrimental effects on the human body than scientists had anticipated while developing the pill. Soon, experts discover that the pill has caused the emergence of the highly contagious beautiful girl virus. A kiss from an infected person can only spread the virus. Any woman who gets infected transforms into a zombie-like creature with the urge to kiss any man in their path. Even men who get kissed completely change into a woman. Right then, the movie's main character, a young man named Kiao Ke, is introduced. Kiao Ke and his friend discuss their next course of action. After receiving a text from Kiao Ke's father, they rush home to discover a girl tied to a chair. The girl is none other than Kiao Kei's brother turned into a woman. Kiao Kei then tries to check the girl's body, but the father says that he has already done so and has determined that it is a girl. Suddenly, the father experiences pain in his chest. The father collapses and transforms into a zombie-like woman. The newly turned woman then tries to kiss Kiao Kei, but his friend stops her. The two accept that Kiao Kei's family is dead and they run outside. As they get to the parking space, an infected woman chases them. They then get to the streets and find that the virus has spread beyond control. The two then get trapped on the side of the road, surrounded by women. Kiao Kei notices that the infected do not attack beautiful women, so he suggests they get to the nearest clothing store and disguise themselves. That is when Kiao Kei's friend offers to distract the girls and sacrifice himself. He says there is no better way of dying than being kissed by multiple women. Moreover, he has never been with a girl, so this might be his only chance. He then jumps in and attracts the infected women. The girls kiss him as Kiao Kei runs away to the mall. Fortunately, the mall is empty and so is the clothing store. He sits on the couch to rest and the time fast forwards to a year later. The beautiful girl virus has taken over China and survivors have established camps in different parts of the country. However, Kiao Kei lives alone in the store. He dresses up as a woman whenever he goes to find food supplies. One time, he enters a car and finds a woman in the backseat. He quickly runs away, but an infected woman follows him to the store and attacks him from behind. What do you think will happen to Kiao Kei? Pause the video and let us know in the comment section. Fortunately, a stranger comes at the right time and saves Kiao Kei. The stranger has a girl with him who surprisingly doesn't attack them. The girl is infected, but her body hasn't turned into a zombie. The man introduces himself as Li Wei, a member of a survival camp who is on search for survivors, and the girl as Xiao Qi. Xiao Qi is the only woman in China who is immune, and he is taking her to a place called the Tower, where scientists are trying to find a cure for the virus. Li Wei invites Xiao Qi to the survivors camp. Then they get in Kei's car and make their way to the survivors camp. However, a man follows them on a bike. When they get to the base, Li Wei makes Xiao Qi wear a device to her mouth so the man feels safe around her. When Kiao Kei is alone with Xiao Qi, he modifies the mouth device so she can open it herself. Xiao Kei and Li Wei then meet the investigation corps, a group of courageous men who go into the city to collect supplies. Li Wei is the leader of the investigation corps, and they leave to take Xiao Qi to the tower. At the camp, Kiao Kei finds the rival spy revealing information to his base. Worried, Kiao Kei then goes to save them. Meanwhile, men from the rival camp start attacking the investigation corp and Xiao Qi. They hold Xiao Qi hostage, but the sniper from the investigation corp fires at them, starting a shootout. Kiao Kei arrives at the right moment and brings Xiao Qi to a safer place. 
The shootout gets intense, and the only survivors are Kiao Kei, Li Wei, and Xiao Qi. But before they can flee from the site, the rival group catches them. The leader makes Xiao Qi wear the mouth device. Xiao Qi then takes off the device and, and then kisses the leader. He then falls to the ground and transforms into a woman, seeing which other members run away. The surviving three go to their vehicle, surrounded by infected women. Li Wei kills them and the three drive to the tower. On the way, Li Wei gets out of the car, revealing that he too has been kissed. Kiao Kei promises to get Xiao Qi to the tower and bids farewell to Li Wei. At the night, the two stop to rest in a lonely area. Xiao Qi then reveals how she killed her fiancé by unknowingly kissing him when she was infected. Kiao Kei comforts her and kisses her hand. The following day, they finally reach the tower but find no one around. As they decide what to do next, a group of infected women attacks them. Surprisingly, men from inside a nearby factory save them. It turns out that the tower is an old factory where a group of soldiers and scientists have gathered to find the cure. The leader of the tower, Xiao Sheng, welcomes them and introduces them to his right-hand man, Big P. They take Xiao Qi's blood samples for further research. She then takes a rest. Meanwhile, Xiao Sheng takes Kiao Kei to the lab where Dr. Hu is doing his research. Hu is an alcoholic who forgets things but is an excellent researcher. After that, Xiao Sheng takes Kiao Kei where they keep the infected girls for research. But the most surprising part about the facility is the room where they keep newborns. Xiao Sheng claims that they rescued the babies recently. Where do you think they found those newborns? Let's watch ahead. Make sure you hit that like button if you are enjoying the video. At night, while having dinner, Dr. Hu gets drunk and reveals that he has to extract a chemical from Xiao Qi's brain to create an antidote, and upon extraction, she will die instantly. Shocked, Xiao Kei quickly pushes Xiao Sheng aside and runs away with Xiao Qi. Xiao Sheng, Big P, and the other men start chasing them. Xiao Qi accidentally enters a room and finds non-infected women inside. It turns out that Xiao Qi is not the only one immune to the virus. But before they can ask more, Big P knocks Xiao Kei out. When he wakes up, Xiao Sheng reveals that the immune women are called the wisdom species, and they possess a rare chemical in their brains that will help to make the antidote. Xiao Sheng plans to use them to create a vaccine to end the pandemic. He let his men mate with the immune women to give birth to the babies that Xiao Kei had seen earlier. He also plans to use the babies for the antidote as they belong to the wisdom species. Kiao Kei agrees to help Xiao Sheng with his plan, but asks to meet Xiao Qi for the last time. He meets her and tells her that he wants to help Xiao Sheng. Xiao Qi gets disappointed, but before leaving, Kiao Kei tells Xiao Sheng to make the women wear his mouth device when they take them for surgery. Xiao Qi understands the plan and explains it to all the girls. The next day, the men take them to the operating room. They also wear mouth devices that Kiao Kei has secretly modified. Meanwhile, Kiao Kei frees all of the infected women so they can attack Xiao Shang's men. Their plan works, and the girls are finally free. They take their kids and run away from the factory with Xiao Qi, while Kiao Kei stays to announce the tower's truth to the survivors through the radio. But Xiao Sheng attacks them, and the two fight. Xiao Sheng is about to kill Kiao Kei, but Xiao Qi arrives at the right time and saves them. Unfortunately, Xiao Qi gets stabbed. The two successfully announce the tower's truth. They know there is no chance for Xiao Qi to survive the injury, but Kiao Kei refuses to let her die alone. Finally, they blow up the facilities and sacrifice themselves in the process. Outside, the surviving wisdom species watch the place burn. The movie ends as they walk away, determined to end the pandemic. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe button, and the bell icon to watch more exciting movie recaps.